Hello again, we've got yet another multi tool. This time we've got a Victorinox. We're looking at the Swiss Tool Spirit X. Now there's a few different variations of the Swiss Tool. There's the Swiss Tool, which is the bigger version, with the sort of, as more of a sort of blocky shape. And we've got the Spirit, which is the more curved, smaller version. Now, there's a few different versions within that. You've got some with scissors, some without, some with, you know, safety blades, that sort of thing. Uh, this is the version with the scissors with what is known as the butter knife. So let's just have a look at it. This is the sheath that it comes in. At first, I thought it was a proper leather sheath, and it does look like it, but looking at the corners there, it almost looks like some sort of veneer. So I'm honestly not too sure. Nonetheless, it's still a handsome little pouch and it fits the tool perfectly. And that Victorinox badge there, I'm not sure what kind of metal that is, but it looks very nice. The only thing that I really do not like about this, and I really do not like it, is the fact that it's Velcro. What they should have done was used a button. That would have been so much nicer. Let's have another look inside of the sheath. You can see it's riveted there. That looks like some sort of man-made material, so that makes me wonder what the rest of the sheath is made of. We can see here as well, quite a nice big belt loop. And here's the multi tool itself. And I'm probably going to struggle to hide in this video because the thing's so damn reflective. The thing's basically just a little mirror, isn't it? So let's look at some of the attention to, the attention to detail on this multi tool because it is such a really well-made uh, multi tool. I maybe won't go as far as to say it's high end, I mean it's not like that expensive. I paid about £105 for this specific multi tool. That says if that said, if you look hard enough on Amazon, you can actually find them as low as £65. I saw them at £65 just a couple of months ago, so keep your eyes peeled and you will get it cheaper. So we'll begin with let's look at that Victorinox engraving. Um, us Victorinox fanboys will really appreciate that, it just is really nicely engraved and that Victorinox shield is just very nice. We also have it on the opposite side. Now we have a pinned construction so there's no taking this thing apart um, for cleaning but the thing is 100% stainless steel. There's no other materials on this other than steel. So I would say that you'd be okay shoving this in the dishwasher. In fact, I, th I think, don't quote me on this, but I think Victorinox actually does say that it's dishwasher safe. Nonetheless, I don't think a dishwasher could hurt this. But for me, if I was to completely clean it, I would just throw it in the sink with some soap, um, open up all the tools, give it a rub down with a toothbrush and re-oil it once it's dry. Now, fit and finish is absolutely excellent. I can't think of anything to say wrong about this multi tool. I mean, it's it's solid, doesn't rattle, like nothing moves that shouldn't. It's just it's Swiss perfection, honestly. Swiss engineering. There's just something about it. It's all outside accessible tools as well, which is convenient. Although nothing is one-handed opening. Let's look at the pliers to begin with because the pliers are also excellent. So you can see there you've got that nice rounded shape which is quite comfortable. These pliers are extremely precise. You can grab hair with that, they're so precise. So we've got wire cutters, hard and soft I think, not that I really get to use those. Regular and needle nose if you like. Very good, fine pair of precision pliers. Now, on some of the older models, they did have a Victorinox and or the Victorinox shield stamped into the plier head. This one does not. I think there is a few different versions of the pliers. Some of them have discontinued. So I think this is the newer plier. We'll close that up again. It's not too heavy either, which is nice. And it's small enough that it could fit reasonably comfortably in your pocket. Unfortunately, there's no pocket clip, nowhere to put one, no lanyard ring or anything. Although some people will put a, lan a lanyard through this little section here, which I believe is for the corkscrew, which you can get as a set. Um, you can get additional tools with this as a set. You can get the, the bits and the corkscrew and all the rest. But 
I just got the standard one without anything like that. And um, that also requires a bigger pouch. So let's have a look at the tools. Um, they're all locking. So this is the locking mechanism here. So when you want to unlock it, you just pull it back. So to open it, uh, let's see where will we start off. Let's start off on the blade. By the way, my one here is no unlocking. So I can actually legally carry this. I might get to that later on, but I've kind of done a little mod to it. And I'll just show you here. That's no unlocking. And what I did was completely reversible. This is what I was talking about when I said the butter knife blade. That's not what I call it. That's not what Victorinox calls it. That's just what some of the users call it. So it's completely blunt. I just bought it because I thought it was different and interesting. Completely blunt at the tip. There's no stabbing or piercing going to happen there. Um, mostly serrated at the, fl the front. I've only ever seen Victorinox do that. With the serrations at the front. Straight at the back. Very different. Um, the serrations are very nice and sharp. Chisel ground on the straight edge. We can see here on the tang we've got the Victorinox stamp. Victorinox Swiss made stainless. They may as well just replace that with Swiss Perfection to be honest. That's the only knife on this thing. That said we do have several other cutting implements. This here is a wood chisel as well as I'm not really sure what that corner's for to be honest. Uh, for me I would usually do that for opening the boxes but I think it's also for cutting wires and cables. We've also got these other tools here which I think are also um, wire strippers. Not something I've ever need to use for but we do have other blades there if we, if we want to use them. Here's one tool that I really do like. Save your knife. Instead of prying with the knife use this thing. I think this is actually designed to pry with. I mean, look how thick that is. So this is the bottle opener, flathead screwdriver, wire bender, and pry bar because that thing is so thick. And it's all steel, riveted, so this thing is probably pretty strong. I've never heard of anyone breaking one of these. Next tool along. One of my favorite tools, and all. And again, these all lock. Unfortunately, there's no sewing eye on this one. This is like the multi-purpose multi hook like they have on their, their pocket knives. It's kind of an unusual place to put it on the, um, on the back of an awl. And they all stop at this angle. I'm not really sure why. I think that's possibly a safety thing, even though the blade locks. And the final tool on this side, I believe, of a wood saw. Now, I've never actually tried this saw, but I've got a feeling it'll be very effective. This saw cuts on both the push stroke and the pull stroke. So what I mean by that is you push, it cuts, you pull back, it cuts. Opposed to, I think, on some other multi-tools. Give me a second while I have a look. I think on Leatherman's, they cut on the pull stroke. So just bear with me just for a little second. So we see here on this Leatherman juice, um, look at the direction of those teeth, goes towards the handle. So that only cuts when you pull. That's what I mean by that. If we flip over to the other side of the multi-tool, We've got a really nice pair of scissors. Now those are probably never going to break on you because of the way that tension bar is designed. Much nicer than the, much nicer than the spring. I've got one complaint about this actually. Because of the way that's designed, because everything's pinned, you can't actually take that apart. And you can't actually open that very wide. So when it comes to sharpening it, that's just not going to happen. There's no way can you get a file or a stone in there to sharpen that. But overall, that's a really, really nice pair of scissors. Next tool over. We've got just a small flat head screwdriver. And again, notice everything's very highly polished, which is really nice. You could almost call this a gentleman's multi-tool. 
this is one of those things where if you wanted to dress up fancy, where you would maybe have a really nice knife on you, well, instead of a gentleman's knife, a gentleman's multi tool. Phillips head screwdriver. I found the screwdrivers on Victorinox to be very effective. And one of the final tools here, that's just the standard can opener with the flat head screwdriver. And the final tool we have here is a very well made file. Cut on one direction, uh, just one, one direction there and it's, oh never mind. Yeah, so both of them are only cutting one way. This one's more, more more aggressive file on this side, less aggressive on this side, and we do have an edge file which actually doubles as a hacksaw, and Victorinox actually does list that as a metal working saw. So this is a really, really well made uh, multi tool. Um, as I said, they all have, um, all the tools on it are locking, but if you noticed, like I said, my knife blade, does not lock and it was a very simple mod that took less than a less than a minute completely reversible you would never know there's nothing that sticks out and shouts look at me I'm butchered anything like that it just looks like your standard Victorinox multi tool so before we end the video um, I'm gonna do some comparisons I think I will do a short video on how I made that non locking sometime soon Give me a second, I'll do some comparisons before we leave. So since it's already in my hand, Leatherman Juice, Case Sod Buster, a Zippo, Leatherman Surge, Well, I'm in wave now. I think these two are competing. I think a lot of people like to ask the question: Leatherman Wave or Victorinox Swisto? Depends what you're doing with it. If it's for hard use, Leatherman. If it's something that you want to look really nice, Swisto. They both perform excellent. Although, if you want the the bits, the bit driver, Leatherman Wave, and if you want one-handed capability. Leatherman Wave. And uh, since it's on the table, Gerber Suspension, Manly Wasp for comparison. Right, well, that's all I've got to say. That's been my video on the Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit X. A fantastic motor tool. Kind of pricey at over 100 quid, but like I said, Keep your eyes peeled, you can get it for around 60. Thanks for watching.